My name's Kelly, I'm a CBD therapist and psychologist and today we're going to think about how do attachment styles impact our behaviour as adults. So we know that attachment styles are scripts in our brain that are formed when we're younger to enable us to stay safe in relationships and be able to be emotionally stable in close relationships. Attachment styles determine how emotionally and physically close a person is to other people, especially their caregivers when they're younger. Secure attachment in childhood and in infancy leads to more emotional intelligence in adulthood. As attachment experiences are often our first encounters with the outside world, which some do refer to as social reality. Human beings' relationship with the social world can be viewed as a reflection on early attachment experiences, particularly with their primary caregiver or a composite of their main carers. So let's think about a little about emotional intelligence. Now the skills that make up emotional intelligence are directly impacted by early relationships with caregivers formed in early attachment. Emotional intelligence, otherwise known as the emotional quotient or EQ, is the ability to understand, use and manage your own emotions in positive ways in order to be able to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathise with others, overcome challenges and also to diffuse conflict. And as you can imagine, without these skills, having a secure attachment with others as an adult could be quite tricky. So attachment styles can influence us as adults in being able to read social cues. So if we don't have a secure attachment, it can be really difficult to actually read what someone else is expressing, whether that is verbally or with their emotions. And attachment styles can also impact our ability to be able to delay gratification, which essentially is the ability to delay an impulse for an immediate reward to receive a more favourable reward at a later time. If you are unable to delay gratification, people can often engage in risky behaviour, they may also overeat or use substances. However, individuals who are able to delay gratification are often quite successful in businesses, as well as in, in relationships. Setting healthy boundaries is another area that can be impacted by our attachment style. And if we're unable to set healthy boundaries, we can often end up in relationships that maybe aren't quite right for us, or we may be taken advantage of by others, or it may impact upon our self-esteem as well. Resolving conflict is also something that is impacted by our attachment styles. We may have been shown a particular way to resolve conflict, or we may not really know how best to resolve conflict. We may completely avoid it, we may shut down, or we may become quite maybe aggressive or verbal. And all of these aspects demonstrate the impact of attachment styles on when we become adults. And there are so many other examples of this, and I'd be happy to explain more if you'd like me to. But I thought I'd just give a little insight into how attachment styles that are developed when we're growing up can also play a part when we are older. I will be doing another video about how we can actually change our attachment styles as adults. So as always, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you for watching.